Hi, this is Brian Kinney from Black Knight. Um, I'm going to create a tutorial and that's going to show you how to move your domains into their own web spaces. Um, so each domain will have its own distinct web space. What I've done is I've created a test account with three domains and we're going to pretend that those three domains are live domains. And we're going to, those three domains are currently a part of one single web space. So we're going to divide them up into three separate distinct web spaces. Okay, so let's log into our little test account. Pop into all domains. Okay, so here we see my first domain, my second, and my third. They're all a part of the same web space, 132496. So when we're finished, each one of these web spaces IDs are going to be different and they're all going to contain the exact same data as they do at the moment. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to download the data that's in those web spaces for my second domain and my third domain because when we move them to a new web space we're going to need to re-upload them to that. So if we go to web hosting and we go to web space and we go to FTP access we're going to need this FTP access details to log into this web space and to download the current data so I'm going to use files that are okay, so the host name is going to be that IP address the username is going to be this and the password is going to be this quick connect <coughs> excuse me and so if we open web space and if we open HTTP docs we see my first domain, my second domain, and my third domain. And um, one quick thing to note is if you hit the main overview and domain administration here, and we select my second domain.com, what you'll see under web hosting is that the location of my second domain.com in the web space is this folder. So in our FTP details, we see this folder. So that's the data we want to grab for my second domain. And I know because I've already set this up that that's the data that we want to grab for the third domain. So I'm going to head to my desktop. I'm going to create a, oops, create a new folder called website data. And then in website data, I'm going to grab these two guys. Sorry. It's not added it to the right location, sorry, oops. Okay, so we're just going to click and drag them into PR, which you obviously can't do in FileZilla. So if we go to desktop, web space data, click and drag them here, it's looking a lot better. Okay, so we have the data from my second domain and my third domain. We're not going to touch my first domain because we're going to leave it in the web space that it's currently in. Okay, so if we go to all domains now, and we go to my second domain, we're going to change it to its own web space. We're going to hit change hosting under web hosting. Don't worry about your email hosting. Your email hosting is going to stay the exact same. And we're going to hit change hosting. Next, we're going to create a new web space. The location, what the location would have been, if you remember, is my first domain, or my second domain here. We're going to leave it as just slash or just the root. The reason being that nothing else is going to live on this web space by this domain. So we're going to hit next. I'm going to add the shared IP address because, well, it's just a demo, really. And PHP 5 support. We're going to run as a CGI app. I'm going to add in some web analyzer. Okay. And I'm not going to bother with this right now because it's just going to take too much time. And we're going to hit finish. Woohoo! We just added our domain to its own web space. And we can check this by having a look here. We see this one and this one are on the same I the same waves, same web space, excuse me. And our new my second domain is on this web space. Now, this web space 132500 doesn't contain our data yet, which is what we're gonna want to add as soon as possible. And um, during this time since we've added my second domain to this web space, it's going to change the DNS settings to to go to the new server. 
basically this web space is going to be on a completely new server so the domain a records for mysecondomain.com and www.mysecondomain.com are going to change the propagation or the time that this takes can take between 15 minutes even up to a few hours so you know be patient and don't get worried so if we go to web hosting we're going to want to get the FTP details for that new web space if you hit domain overview domain administration we see here that this is th my second domain.com is on the web space 132500 up here shows you the web space that you're currently editing so we need this to say 132500 and the way that you do that is by clicking web space web spaces and then here you see my second domain.com under web space location 132500 so we're going to need to select that this then changes to 132500 so we know we're editing the correct web space so we're going to hit FTP access when you create a new web space FTP isn't on by default you need to add a new um, username and password and so on so we're going to call this second domain going to generate some passwords click next and click finish beautiful so if we click FTP access again we'll see all of our new details on that right there add in the username add in the password connect board the previous connection web space HTTP docs we don't have any folders in here because we added it to the location at the root and hit the second domain and we're gonna add all of our old data Override. Always use this action. Apply it to the current queue only. Okay, so we've added all of our old data to our new web space. Now, the only thing that was in my old web space because it was a test was a blank document. Sorry, a blank document saying my second domain.html. But we know that when the DNS updates, our new web space has the data ready to rock. So we're happy out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through all that again with my third domain. So if we click on my third domain because we've already downloaded the data for it, we want to change the hosting, click next, create a new web space location, we're going to leave it as root because this is the only domain that's going to live on this web space. Click next, check what we're going to use, I'm going to use a CGI app. Webalizer web stats. Next. I'm not going to bother with that right now. Finish. Woohoo, we got our new web space. So if we click all domains, see this is completely different to this. So all new web spaces. Brilliant. We now need to add FTP access for my third domain. So we're going to do that by hitting web hosting, web space. FTP access. Oh, sorry, no, we're on the wrong web space. So if we go to web spaces, my third domain is on 132501, so we need to select that. I hit FTP access. I'm going to call this third domain. I'm going to generate some passwords. Click next. Click finish. And we're done. Grab our new IP address where it's hosted. Grab a new username. And we're going to grab a new password. Click next. Board's previous web space. HTTP docs. And grab our third domain's data. Upload it. Overwrite it. I don't want to overwrite it. Okay, so we're done. What will happen is once the DNS is now updated it will reflect all of the data that we've uploaded to our new web spaces and everything will be moved over. Um, some things that can occur here that people get worried about is for the likes of a WordPress blog and stuff you only need to upload the files. The database will stay the same because the database is hosted on a completely different server altogether. It's hosted on one of our MySQL nodes so when you add the new data 
the new Linux shared hosting server can still contact that database server, so you know it's going to live happy forever after. Um, so this is one of the first tutorials I've done on web spaces. I'm sure there's other things that you guys would like tutorials done on. If there is, just add it to the comments below, or you know, email us in or let us know what you like, and we'll try to get it done for you. Okie dokie. Thanks a lot. Bye.